at some point they didn't think they were going to get to do each season, it feels like. That's probably the biggest, you know, I think they make it work, but it's, yeah, the biggest thing that you notice is, like, how much not knowing how much they were going to get affected telling the story, because originally, like, it must have just been kind of back and forth, because I remember, you know, okay, so first it was supposed to just be, like, a 12 episode miniseries, yeah, yeah and then it's like, okay, well, let's do a second season, like, season, okay, like, great, and let's do, you know. Yeah, and that probably played a huge role in the entire arc, which is right. a bummer. I don't know, and, like, we're not far enough into the fourth season to know that, like, there, I believe there should be, you know, a lot of stuff that was from the third season that is carrying over, okay. not fully. Uh-huh. It's funny, because that's where there's, like, some of, like, the biggest, like, changes, I don't know. I dig it. The animation's like awesome. And yeah. It's still really funny. Oops. And for a fake anime. For a fake anime. I like it more that way, but and then No, I think it's I, I think it's great. I just I think it's a fun way to make fun of it. Oh absolutely. Yeah. This is an anime done by white people. <laughs> Well, it's funny because... Yeah, they do it better. <laughs> right. Well, so it's... it's yeah, it's just less it's, fans. <laughs> it's made by white people, but it's animated by the same people. Because then the anime is just animated by Koreans and... Yeah. <laughs> and Koreans do... Or, uh, and the creative people. So they actually... And Family Guy. So they actually animate just everything. Except for seven days. Except for In seven days. <laughs> You guys watch that documentary? Yeah. That's nuts. Absolutely yeah. nuts. Well, they kind of have to make it topical. Yeah. Yeah, but they, they, they chose to do that. Right? Yeah, absolutely. It's still crazy. Oh, yeah. No, it's totally. They're nice. psychopaths. The, um, it's actually like a reason to get like the South Park like, DVDs and stuff is their, com- like, their commentary is so good for like, oh, really? all the episodes because you get to learn. Like, yeah, so much of it was, you know, before they made that documentary, was about, you know, the way that they produced the show, and they're just like, oh gosh, you know, uh-huh. we threw this one together so fast. Like, you remember the, like, um, everybody, like, starts dressing metrosexual, and just the crap people, uh-huh. you remember that? Yeah. So they, <laughs> they talked about that, that they said, like, they made the first half of the episode, and it was like, they were ahead of schedule, like they actually started very late, like they made a conscious decision, like, all right, like, let's start working on this now, like, we got this episode, let's do this. And then they just got stuck halfway, and then they just got stuck in like, what is the end to this episode? And they couldn't figure it out, and then finally just like, you know, it took them like days, and then just joking, it was like, super last minute, crowd just like, how about their crap? <laughs> yeah, it starts talking about that, and they're like, great, let's go, and I guess like, at this time, they, then they always said like, pitch everything, like, to, like just try and, like, they had the final say, but they still had to try and pitch everything to, like, the producer. And so then, like, I talked to her, and she's like, that is the stupidest idea you guys have ever made. And they're like, great, we are absolutely going to do that. <laughs> and then they're saying that forever, then whenever there's, like, writer's block in the writer's room, they don't know what to do, they're just like, crap, we can't. <laughs> <laughs> They also talk about how much they hate Wild Wild West because it came out at the same time as the South Park movie. <laughs> and what a lot of uh, kids would do is uh, the channel a bit, um, they would get their parents to take them to Wild Wild West. No, they would go to the theater, buy a ticket for Wild Wild West, and sneak into South Park since they were under 17. Right. So actually, like the South Park movie, like way more people saw it, but. Not as many people paid for it, they paid for a lot of blast. I like the Wild Wild West episode they do. The Seth Park one with Cartman and Fly Frog. Oh yeah. And the the what is it? It's the uh, the party, the meteor shower. Yeah. Because Carmen kind of just sings the fake Wild Wild West song every time. Kind of There's no way in hell I would have paid for the Wild Wild West. Jersey. It was dominating. Not great. <laughs> no, but people loved it. 
I mean, it, it had its charm, but... But... The mechanical spider is equal to the crab people. Yes. Except in multi-million dollar movie form. And isn't it sad that that's popular now and it's called steampunk? <laughs> steampunk was, has been popular for a while. No. Main, as mainstream popular. Oh, so when we went to, um... Beer Fest, which also comes up to Overfest, um, these, the steampunk or like Victorian club had a wedding. Like they, they hijacked the stage, like they didn't plan this out. So they hijacked the stage and this dude, like this, this dude in a friar costume, like straight up shaved his head. Like his hair was actually like Just a fryer. Yeah. So yeah, so he had that ring. Uh -huh. um, and then there was a dude in like full decked out like top hat, three piece suit, and all this other shit. There's like three of them. He had a top hat. The groom had a top hat. Like two of the the groom's men had bowlers and were like straight up decked. Um. This sounds stupid. Yeah, and then and then the girl was in like a uh, like a like a Wild West type of like you know, dress for like the hookers and stuff. And it was just kind of like, okay, that's cool. Yeah, we're having a wedding, everybody. Yeah, wedding. And they tried to clear out an aisle for them to walk down. Drunk ass people were dancing down the aisle. Um, so, for instance, uh, Allison Grassy was there. She was one of the drunk ass people we saw dancing down the aisle. We're like, Allison, move! They're having a wedding. She's like, what? And then she looked down and I was like, oh my god, they're having a wedding. It was, it was really weird. It was not okay. Not to mention, beer was like seven bucks a piece. <laughs> And yet you want to go back, and you want to break this. Well, yeah, I'd like to go back. I mean, we don't have to go to the goddamn tents. All that are in the tents is literally, like, beer that you might run out of uh, for seven bucks. Or you can go to the bars next door where the, they're still having games and doing stuff. Um, but you're not paying seven bucks a beer. And they have a shuttle that'll take you over there, so. Still. Shit. Get a couple of cases of beer and get a couple of Oh no. of like medieval countries that nobody gives a shit about or are fake. <laughs> you ever read the Sword of Truth books? Yeah, I don't do that. Really? I always liked that TV show. Um, like the first couple are cool, but he... Terry Goodman has this uh, really nasty habit of changing the way the world works. Oh, when he decides to... 
Well, when he when he writes himself into a place where he's stuck, instead of trying to find a solution to how to get the characters out of there, he changes the rules. Yeah. Like, oh well, you know, he can do this now. Like, oh well, that would have been nice, you know, like this situation a couple chapters ago that he could magically do it then. But obviously that's not how this works. So. I mean, they're not bad books. I've read all of them, and I have all of them. I just think I've at least the TV series, but I'm going to be traveling to work. <laughs> yeah, sure. Since no. you don't buy minis, you should just buy War of Elephants. Yeah, that's definitely not happening. You should just read War of Elephants. Definitely not happening. I can lend you The Return of the Gash. Oh, I'm good. It's pretty good. I'm good. And by that, I mean it's not good, but it's very entertaining. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Thank you, though. I appreciate that. <laughs> Should I say what level dollars? Um, yeah, no, the first couple books are good. Oh, you did suck. Oh, God, that was good. You got really unlucky there. <laughs> After getting really unlucky. Okay, and like the first book. <laughs> then it'll get you stuck. And I'm one of those, like, if I like the first one, I want to finish the rest. You know, I thought I was too. Um, then I read that crazy book that I read about the X-Men and the World War II and the and all that stuff. Okay. And I loved that first book, and I don't want to read the second or the third one. Oh yeah. You just don't think they'll be as good? No, I, I kind of read the synopsis and I'm like, no, I'm good. Yeah. It jumps like 10 years and I'm like, I, I want to know what happens right next. Not, right. not 15 years later because it ruins it. Yeah, yeah, no, I get you. Yeah. And that's one thing that I had. I know the third one ties it all back in with some of the, the crazy time travel stuff that they kind of went into, but didn't actually reference. Um, like, I, I, I don't know if That is one of the things that bothered me about, like, Ender's Game, that series. Is it. It's such a long, like, time span. And there's even ones that are even worse than that. But sometimes it's good. Yeah, sometimes it's like that. It depends if it's a character, more character driven or it's more story like yeah. broad stroke driven. Yeah. And I, like, I, mean, I was really attached to those specific characters because right. the whole book was about the hardship these can, these specific characters were facing on both sides of this war. If the book was more about the war in general, I'd be more interested in the war. But instead, right. the war was a backdrop for this character being Yes. Like, yeah. And that's like those are the type of books I like. Is could be a character. It's like Mistborn is really cool if you ever want to get into that. Um, that? Um, it's basically uh, there's uh, a couple. Of, so Mistborn is a a trait in the human whatever, and there's it's a fantasy world, and there's like this over evil overlord person that they're trying to get rid of. Anyway, but um, it's a really cool magic system where. They have to ingest low quantities of certain metals that give them, like, the ability to do certain things. Um, so, like, a certain one allows them to push and pull metal. So, like, for instance, roofs had, like, you know, you have your, like, lightning rod on the roof and it's anchored very well to your roof and whatnot. You can pull yourself towards the lightning rod. And then you can push yourself off of it to fly in the opposite direction. Um, and then they had a bunch of other, like, there's a bunch of other stuff you could do with it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, there's like seven or eight different metals that you can do with a bunch of different things. And so, um, that's a really cool magic system, and it's a trilogy, so it's not really too long. But it's one of those ones where you kind of get, you know, the, the world is cool and everything, but. It's all about these five or six characters, and you really want to see what happens to them. And like at the end of the series, it's a very it's it's a very well ended. That's good. Like everything gets wrapped up yeah, in those three, good. and then they're. Um, see, when thinking about books nowadays, I think about it if it if it is a trilogy or has a sequel, I almost don't want to read it. Because it's, it's, it's a time-based proposition at that point. Right. It's funny because I never finish anything, so I haven't read I have a series. In video games, I don't finish anything from books. They're 51 night things. Okay, see, I, I don't finish anything of 
anything. So the last series I read, you know, was when I was oh shit, I forgot I did that. Um, you know, it was when I was like ten and read the like, Red Wall. So <laughs> yeah, I haven't because then I like think your brother got me. <laughs> Plus two, like I, I mean, oh gosh, for it is dull. I never, I never read any. Well, because I stopped reading like fiction for years. It was only like a couple, you know, years ago that I actually started reading fiction, mm -hmm. and just don't think I could ever actually read like a big series. Whenever I get that, it's like it's a great history major. <laughs> right. Well, it's the same thing too. Like, why, you know, unless Trevor makes me do it, like I don't finish like TV shows or anything. Or, Cora is a follow because it's 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, um, I, don't, I think I would like all kinds of things. Well, it's, I just don't do it. The Robert Jordan series, for the time. <laughs> Why? Because he died. Well, he died, but um, the guy who wrote Miss Moore, Brandon Sanderson, he, he pitched out the series. Right. Um, but I've read that three times. <laughs> I think I read, I read the whole damn thing. I the concert. I read Dune. Dune's a little bit. It was small, so it was cool. But Dune? Yeah, Dune's another one. Right. But I never have, but now I just haven't been like, three more Dune. You want to get, in, you want to get into a, like, a long series? Here's Anthony. Um, <laughs> None of us sound like people want to get into a battle circle. Um, is that what you're saying? It's battle circle? No. Um, it is. Might be, but it's it's <laughs> zero or something like that. I was told to read that book because it's just the like it's the, the dumbest of trilogy. No, and it's not a trilogy. It's Battle yeah. Circle. Oh, mm -hmm. it appears in uh, I think it's uh, it's Pretty like sure a staple of, of sci-fi fantasy. Yeah, but it's like it's no, it's it's ring it's ring world. Um, it's uh, twenty-two books. Fuck <laughs> that. Um, it's one of those things where, like, you read a great world. <laughs> and it's all you read? Yeah, like, you've spent the last three years, four years reading a great world. Uh, and that's one of those things where I'm really not, you know, I feel like I want to read it at some point, but... But, I mean... I don't want to give up every other hobby I have. Yeah. They're all like the 1400, you know, it's not sure I finish things, but it just takes me a very long time to like go back and forth. Yeah. They're like 2,000 page books and stuff. I read Dune like over a year, but you know, I yes. just, those are, those are pretty good books. Well, I also read other books at the same time. And just, I'm, 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 even in like my work, I'm just terrible. Like I have to just be doing lots of things at once. I'm terrible at like finishing one thing at a time. I get that to an extent, but I don't maintain that with books. I don't know why. I wish I could just like not. Yeah, but for books, it's because it's this thing I do so rarely that it's up being like a. But I read <sighs> decently fast. Like, a book is, is two days at most kind of thing. Right. Well, like um. In junior high and high school, when I would get to reading, like it's almost about this time, I usually start reading something a little bit. It just starts getting dark. And I don't want to go outside. Or Typically, like six, because I don't want to focus on reading this <laughs> Right. Um, anyway, like I would sit, I would sit and pound through like three quarters of a Robert Jordan novel. And my mom would come in and check on me. Are you okay? I'm like, just read. I'd just be on the couch and like it or so. Just read the entire damn thing. And she's just like, how much have you read today? And I'm like, uh, you know, like 2,000 pages. And she's like, what the fuck? I can't remember most of you. It depends on if I'm getting into it or not. Like, there was a... Anything I've read before, too. Like, yeah. Yeah, I skip over the stuff that I've read. Well, I think that's well, it. Skip you, just, you end up, because you don't have to 
Because you're remembering it instead of understanding it. Like, yeah. You know, I actually think I do read faster than I think I do, but it's, yeah, so much of the stuff that I've read is like, really long and name, then and then a date, oh, yeah. and then yeah. like, history books, they just cram as much well, text. Reading as as books, you can't read books fast. Right. It's, not it's for content, it's not for anything. Yeah. Yeah. Well, sometimes it's for it too. <laughs> Fact, I'd say often, but yeah. But it is, it's, it's still it's a different type of meaning. Yeah, it's a different type of meaning. It's a different type of meaning. Yeah. Um, there was like a, there was a young adult group or books. There was like, there was like eight books. But since they were young adult, they were only probably about a thousand pages each at most. So maybe about seven or eight hundred pages. Um, so I read, like, I went to the library, the school library, and checked out one of them the first day, and I brought it back the next day, it was red. Um, and she's like, oh, you read it already? I'm like, yeah, I finished it in a couple hours. Do you have the next three? <laughs> and she's like, what? And I'm like, so I took the next three and brought them back, like, a day or two later. I was like, do you have the last four? <laughs> She's like, yeah, here you go. So like within a week, I finished all eight books. Who was that writer when we were little? That did. R. L. Stein. No, that did all the sports. <laughs> that did all the sports books. Uh, uh Dave Batno. Carl Stein's brother. Well, you know, those guys that write 100 page books, yep. they write shit ton because they don't have to spend any time getting back to the character information. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, when it, when it made sense to be reading them. Right now, you'd be like, where's the character development? I yeah, can't get into this. <laughs> It's because they go so fast. Well, like, I got, I got in a kick after finishing out, like, all those big series. I was like, I just want a book. Like, a book that ends. That I don't have to wait for the next book to get made. It's just, this is it. Oh, man, so it was a bit. Neil Gaiman. Oh, yeah. He does a lot of one of those. Yeah. So he did, like, American Gods. Um, and I read that. Neverwhere was good. And then there was another one, Stardust, I think I just finished. That was pretty cool. But yeah, like, they're, they're very compact. And it's just like, book's done, you're done. You don't get so invested with these characters that you're just like... Because, I don't know, like, you know, at the end of a TV series where you kind of get invested with the character, you just kind of feel like, blah, and you're done. You're just like, yeah, you get cool, depressed, and sad, like, man, I'm not going to see these guys anymore. There's no more adventures for me. Well, just imagine that, like, after you've read 50,000 pages of the same characters <laughs> doing stuff, and it took eight months out of your life, and all of a sudden, you know, it's over. And you're just like, no, <laughs> this is it. You probably read all the Lovecraft stuff, right? No, I haven't read Lovecraft. You should, because for me, and I'm, you know, I'm not saying it's character development, but I, I feel like it, it's not necessary. If you don't need it. I don't think it's like the basis of writing. Right. And all of his stuff almost has like zero character development. And, you know, pretty much they're all short stories too, so it's like jump in, jump out, but also, like, the more of you read, the more that, like, the lore builds on itself. Yeah, it's good. So that's, like, 
Everything he wrote, seventeen dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, all right. It's not hard. I'm. I have my candles, so I really like to steal books. I mean, I don't really like stealing books <laughs> in the sense that I don't like not supporting authors, but I do like not paying for things. <laughs> Like, if there's something I really like, and there's a lot of times, like, a lot of the good books, like, there's a, a, a subreddit I follow that's fantasy and stuff, and they'll tell you, like, you know, Brandon Sanderson's new novel's out for, like, two bucks on Amazon right now. Kindle download. I don't mind paying two bucks. I've never yeah, watched Red Shirts was by fire in anything in my life because I don't really. <laughs> <laughs> what was five things, Jared? Red Shirts. I don't know, Brent. I'm fairly certain that I picked up this required phone book before you. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, I did. I did. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh. I wish I was out. Walk this way. I feel like uh, if anybody was listening to this very morning, I'd be like, oh, fuck. I don't know. I think it was interesting how conversations I listened to more about the Bible books. Yeah. Uh, read all the Lovecraft stuff. It would probably take you like three hours based <laughs> on what you said. <laughs> the better part of an afternoon. Yeah. Read this entire If I ever have retire, works. If I ever have an afternoon, I'll go for it. For my time, like, the reason I have been reading. I definitely like the Lovecraft, like actual books are way cooler than what the like stupid people do with this stuff now. Yeah. Or just like, you know, the know. style of H.P. Lovecraft. Like, is like, pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I mean, there's, there's <laughs> cool things, like, but, you know what? Oh, I think in general, the stuff that, like, isn't even necessarily Lovecraft, but they're like, you know, Inspired by H.P. Yeah, Lovecraft, and it's just their own version of crappy psychological yeah, horror. It's just exactly psychological horror. Yeah, and you're yeah, just like, that's uh, dumb. Uh, is Lovecraft all horror? Uh, yeah. Yeah, there might not be. Yeah. I really don't do horror. It's, it's pretty scary. I just don't like getting scared, right? I mean, I don't. Not read The Dreams of the Witch House. Yeah, that's not yeah, well, most of them aren't actually scary. They're more like surprising. Natural ones. Yeah, yeah supernatural. natural. Yeah. But the dreams in the witch house is terrifying. Like I was uncomfortable reading. <laughs> well, like yeah, like the um, Wheel of Time series. There's like the first book is great. Like it draws you into the whole series very well. And it's like what the, f the whole thing probably could have been a trilogy. Mm -hmm. But instead, I think it ended up being like 15 bucks. <laughs> also, the thing too is, you know, yeah, Lovecraft was written in the 20s, you know, that definition yeah. of horror is, you know, different than what we have now. So it's yeah. not like. It's not, not like just what a year. No, not God. Yeah, no, it's nothing like that. I mean, like, the most violent thing, you know, that there could be is, like, oh, turns out this man's, you know, brain was removed. Uh, oh, no, zombie. There's also, yeah, and there's no, like, zombies. Like, they're all either, like, entities or aliens or... Oh, God. Yeah. Tony were weird. Those were weird. I feel like you're going so hard. I know. Pretty much. I'm like out of sync. This is always like a joke. <laughs> really? Is that like you're gonna die? No. For me, yeah. Okay, next. 
just for shits and giggles, I talk to Maggie about depression and suicide. Oh, I'm kidding, thanks. <laughs> what? Oh, you're an asshole. <laughs> Like don't worry. <laughs> oh, nice. So, like don't worry, you're my beneficiary now. I get game over, you guys. The safe point's right there. Watch me beat elevator. I love you know the names. Watch it. He's clicked it a couple times. <laughs> also, this is always hard for me. Honestly. It seems to be hard for you now. Yeah, it's all coming back. How much I suck. <laughs> Holy shit. We've got seven more hours. I'm not going to be here. Yeah, you guys won't have to leave whenever. I don't have to be a doctor for the country first. If I don't get seven more hours. And then the CS goes and gets it down. Oh, what time is that? Yeah. It's like 10. That's not going to happen. I'm going to fucking like put it on the earth that I'm going to die. Oh, really? I think they'll just probably make it back to it. Now you're up too late for the kids. For all the children. She's actually like, I feel bad because she doesn't have five. Now we gotta go to my mom's for dinner. Tomorrow? Yeah. Or today? Whatever. It is. They decided to put my sister and my birthday together this year. Which means we do it before my sister and after mine. That's fun. Yeah, it's fine. Except Play for birthdays. Except for nothing, like, she's like, it's since it's her birthday as well. Um, and she is dairy and gluten free. Oh, so like, it tastes good? Exactly. <laughs> Whatever dairy free is probably a good idea for you. Yeah, dairy free is not a bad idea. So I told my mom, I'm like, well, sushi's dairy and gluten free. Yeah, but it's also that not a lot of people do. And that's pretty much what you said. Minus the white people part. It's the nobody else likes that dairy. It's like, um, Jeremy and I do. Or do you eat it? You and Chris won't. The kids might not. Super difficult. You you get psyched yourself out for because they were trouble for you when you were little. Like I can see some of your psyche. I feel like it's like that 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 jumping little puzzle that you had there wasn't super difficult, but you rush it like crazy because you were worried about it. Because when you were because when you were seven years old or something, it was ridiculous. It's in my head. Yeah. Well, even so, I don't know, I feel like this, well, maybe it's not hard, but it's, like, there's some pretty tricky platforming. Yeah. No, 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 I'm not saying all of it, but, like, that but part, the parts that I yeah, yeah, there are parts that you, you, you click a little faster and you see a little more green, it's like, okay. you could take your time on that if you wanted, but still be just as easy. It's a wise psychologist. <laughs> okay, back here. Watch. 
Trevor and Dylan are just like, no, just keep playing. Because they're like, cause like, you're, you're like, it's going to take you like two months to beat it if you stop. Yeah. It. You're right. I get that. And then I just beat it. One city. All right. Good luck, sir. Thank you. No one me. Around for a while because I got back up. Yep. Hi. Hey. Here's a hand of my back. I came prepared. <laughs> There's a couple PC games that I picked up today because I wanted to play, but my stream's having some issues running PC games. My computer's not powerful enough right now. You should, um, throw on Zelda. I don't have the Zelda to play. Um, Link Between Worlds would be the closest. I can't play a 3DS game on screen. Yeah. Um, I should have brought over it all the NES ones. Although they're not really as cool. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Part of me doesn't enjoy this game anymore. Uh, it's like SNES and you know, it's, it's 64, but uh, it. Now, you know, I don't even have any games for my 64. Uh, you just start start to finish the Final Fantasy. God, that would be so boring. Don't forget your favorite game. Sunset, 
probably doing it next week. Then we show the friend the power of stream because I think he wants to support. Absolutely. We got plans. We have some people chat. Yeah, these. It was all just a trick. to your ex-boyfriend wedding because uh, her current boyfriend's her ex-boyfriend best friend.
It's not that it was on so bad. You know what needed to happen? It's like, you sit there and go, like, that was like, the nail in front of the really awesome to target the big bugs. I kind of, I kind of still want to do that thing. Like in college, I wanted to organize like, a, a charity run, or like, or didn't really matter what. It was either a banana or a gorilla. <laughs> oh, you're the worst. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take a game. I'm going to go. Start solo leg. What do I want to play? Decisions, decisions, decisions. What to play? What to play? Swing pitch four. Start doing the guest swing side. Justice. 
some skate. Kind of Dark Souls. Try not to play a fighting game because I don't want to get my stick out. Hmm. Nothing terrible at all that fun. Just give me a dollar piece of shovel so I can that well wall screen maybe. Brett left his Bushido blade. Maybe I need to keep this one.
PS4 is not coming out. in the mind state to want to fix a PS4, so if you would just work for me, it would be a lot better. Let's do PlayStation Daily. Let's do one more. One, two, 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 one
Thank you. 